I'm doing a little rough shaping on the front legs for the Maloof low back. So here's how those front legs look. And I've been bandsawing stuff. And it, 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 I bandsawed it using the side template first. And then I used the other te uh, front template to, uh, to shape it this direction. So with both of those band sawed cuts, you can see these transi transition areas are really rough. And to knock those back, I'm mostly using a carving tool. This was just the bandsaw making this mess. So now I've got a number five, which seems to fit the shape of that transition quite well. And the first thing I do is just knock back a lot of the corner I already knocked it back there so let me do it on this corner and then I've got some other corners here that need that I just the seat will fit into a joint, a Maloof type joint. Uh, it'll have to be worked out. So when I get to a stage like that. I just take this carving tool and knock out quite a quite a bit of the material. There's been some beetle uh, damage in the years that this after this was bandsawed or uh, cut at the sawmill and I left it outdoors and those powder post beetles like the sapwood on these uh, on this uh, this ash it's local ash modesto ash I, I built most of my Windsor chairs out of that material boy it bends nicely works nicely and finishes nicely uh, so that was a great resource while it lasted and I sawmills stopped cutting it and a lot of the ash trees have died in the drought here so let me just uh, knock back this Yeah, you get the idea of how this works here. Um, I've got files here, rough, very rough files that also can 
work with this, but actually it's a lot easier and faster with the carving tool.